The sounds of success are ringing at the Kansas State University College of Veterinary Medicine through a research project that has potential to help treat human deafness and loss of balance. Dr. Felina Vongeman, University Distinguished Professor of Anatomy and Physiology, and her international team have published the results of a study that restored hearing in mice with a mutation of a gene known as SLC26A4. This gene is associated with Pendred syndrome and the enlargement of the vestibular aqueduct, common forms of hereditary loss of hearing and balance. We are interested to find out how the mechanism of this hearing loss is occurring so that we can develop treatments for it, so that we can give parents an option of treatment. Pendrin, or the protein encoded in SLC26A4, is normally expressed in a number of different epithelial cells in the cochlea and the vestibular labyrinth of the inner ear, as well as in the non-sensory endolymphatic sac. When a mutation causes pendrin to not function properly, the inner ear swells during embryonic development, which results in deafness and loss of balance. Since pendrin is expressed in so many different epithelial cells of the inner ear, it appeared impossible to restore everywhere, but the researchers developed a hypothesis. Interesting is that the endolymphatic sac is a very far spot in the inner ear where the pendrin begin to express. So that's why we think endolymphatic sac should be much more important than other part regarding the pendrin expression and the functions in the inner ear. A new mutant mouse was bred to only express SLC26A4 in the endolymphatic sac. Hearing imbalance of these mice were then tested. For example, hearing was studied by recording auditory brainstem responses. It's done in a way that's sort of a, a decrescendo, where it starts off louder and gets incrementally smaller. And so we start off with about 90 decibels, and we go down to zero decibels, sound pressure level. Each of those tone bursts, the response is recorded, and then the software allows us to see that recording in the form of a waveform. In essence, you're basically seeing what the animal heard. These tests demonstrated when the expression of pendrin is restored in the endolymphatic sac, normal hearing and balance is restored. This finding will help guide the development of treatment strategies for these mutations. The restoration of hearing and balance in this mice means that we now know that we need to focus on the endolymphatic sac. Although we want to cure hearing that happens in the cochlea and balance that happens in the vestibular labyrinth, we actually need to focus on a part of the membranous labyrinth that we had not focused to that extent before on. To learn more about this research, you can read the full article in the online journal PLOS Genetics.